The Campfire Network presents Why Hire an Eco Consultant? This is Bob. He owns a successful costume factory. He has a lot of employees who like making costumes. And they even like working for Bob. But they like their paycheck more than anything else. This is Julian. Julian owns a costume factory in the same town. Making costumes is big business, so he makes a lot of the same costumes. His employees like making costumes too, and they really like Julian. He's a cool guy. Oh, and of course they like their paychecks. But what they really like is that Julian cares about his employees and the community. In fact, he cares so much that he decided that he wanted his business to be more eco-friendly. In addition to creating a healthier workplace for his employees, he wanted to see if he could save money on his electric bill by exploring alternatives like solar and wind power. Julian knew his factory was leaving a heavy carbon footprint, and he wanted to know what he and his staff could do to lessen it. Also, he did the math, and he figured that if an eco-consultant could give him some ideas to save him even a little bit of money, it would easily pay for the cost of hiring the eco-consultant. So he made the call. He hired the best eco-consultant he could find with great credentials, a genuine interest, and real-life experience. It all began with an eco-audit. The eco-consultant asked Julian over a hundred questions to determine what the factory was doing right and wrong. The eco-consultant and Julian put together a list of goals. First, they educated Julian's employees about how they could reduce, reuse, and recycle. Julian had a big parking lot. It cost him a lot of money to expand and maintain it, so Julian decided to reward employees who carpooled. He also began to offer a shuttle in and out of town. He also rewarded those who used alternative transportation, such as buses, bicycles, and those who walked to work. The eco-consultant put together an eco-action plan for employees, so they could go green at home, too. They learned about water conservation and purity, they learned about insulation, how to reduce, reuse, and recycle at home, and a lot more. After all, staff who are happy at home will also be happy at work. Word spread throughout the community. Thanks to word of mouth and some local news stories, the community was truly proud at Julian's factory. More people wanted to work there. Julian was attracting the best talent available. Word continued to spread. Because Julian decided to go green, more people decided that they wanted to buy their costumes made by Julian's factory instead of those made by Bob's factory. And Bob watched this all from afar. Bob could have made some effort to go green too, but he didn't want to spend the money or make the effort. More and more of Bob's employees were calling in sick. Bob found out that they were suffering from sick building syndrome, but Bob did nothing about it. He just kept doing business as usual. He figured going green was a fad that would pass, so he kept doing the same old thing. And before too long, Bob closed his doors and retired to Florida. So what are you waiting for? Do you want to be like Bob and stay stuck in the past and keep doing business as usual? Or do you want to be like Julian, someone who's on the cutting edge, one step ahead of the competition, and ready to go green? If so, then hiring an eco-consultant is for you. Learn more at the Earth Savers Institute. Remember, you too can be an Earth Saver. This has been Why Hire an Eco-Consultant. Have you hired one yet? Blue skies!